Hi everybody, it's Andrew Hutchings with you here tonight. Still not a doctor, still may be a doctor someday. And I am procrastinating, um, well I procrastinate a lot today. Ended up watching more plates, more dates, why I use insulin syringes to inject testosterone, parentheses, huge TRT mistake. And he's very adamant about this. You can even see it in his face. I mean, he has good stuff and I like his content. I'm not sure if you can read that title. <coughs> so his basic rationale is that when you use normal syringes, you're not getting the full dose, that you're losing the stuff in the tip. But the thing is, that's not true in the way that he talks about it mattering. It's true if you're paying top dollar for your testosterone and you really want to get the most out of it. But it's not true if you're concerned about getting an inaccurate dose, because you're still getting the exact dose you think you're getting. But you are still wasting it, so you're getting the dose you want, but you're still losing some. But you're getting the full amount that you think you're getting. So that was his big concern. Oh, people think they need higher doses because they're not actually getting all the stuff they think they're getting. But really, it doesn't start measuring until after that little bit of oil at the end. You can see the same thing with a ruler, so let's... <coughs> so do you see how... Okay, so look at the end where it says centimeters. You see how there's a little bit before it starts measuring? Before those little lines show up? So let's imagine that's the end of the syringe where the oil is. But the thing is, you don't start measuring until after that. So if you fill it to the 0.5 centimeter line, like right there, at, where I'm doing it at the edge of the white, and then you inject it and you still have this little bit left at the tip, well, that was accounted for. I mean, that wasn't part of the 0.5 measurement, which goes to here. You still got that 0.5, and that little bit of the tip is still there. It was not part of your intended dose. But that is still testosterone you're losing, so if so if you're paying like $300 a month or $150 a month, I don't know how much you're paying, but if you're paying a lot of money and you're not getting like, basically if your testosterone costs a lot of money and you want to get every last drop, what he's saying is good. But if you're just concerned with getting an accurate dose, it doesn't matter because you are getting an accurate dose. Um, as for his other reasons why insulin syringes are better, I'm not going to go over them, I just wanted to address this thing, because I did have him under my list of approved YouTube sources. But I'm pretty sure I said in that video, I only agree with like 98-99% of what those guys say. Because not every single thing, this one's not so much of an agreement or disagreement, he's just, it happens to everybody, like your brain's just not working quite right, and... You think something and then, oh, well, I can't believe I even thought that. I assume that's what's going on because he seems like an intelligent guy. So check out my Instagram, natural underscore true underscore fitness. And uh, please like and subscribe. And remember that you can hire me for coaching, for diet plans, workout plans, supplement plans. But I'm not a doctor, so I can't give any advice. I can just take the knowledge of the world and put it at your fingertip. To help you get nice biceps like these that don't have optimal lighting to make them look that great. So uh, yeah, please like, subscribe, comment, check out my Instagram and hire me and I'll make sure you get a good bang for your buck. Better than you'd get from anything else.